Hi babies and welcome into my channel. My name is Dimples and in this video I will be showing you how to use the HANA tool to add the necessary blend shapes to your model that you'll need in order to use eye mocap programs to track your face. Before we begin I do want to say thank you to all the support and kind words that I've got on my viewer tutorials. I'm super glad that they were helpful for you and that you guys are here. Motion capture technology or mocap is tracking tech that is used for a variety of things like animation in movies, video games, but more relatably, it is what your iPhone uses to track your face for things like the emojis or to unlock your phone. There are programs out there that use mocap that you can use in conjunction with your model to make your face tracking with your model a little more dynamic. It's what I use to actually animate my models and what gives me so much expression. In order to make expressions with your 3D models, the models use something called blend shapes. Blend shapes are deformers that are added to your model that manipulate the face so that you can make those expressions. And while our Vroid model does come with some attached to it defaultly, there's not enough information and there's not enough blend shapes in order to use those programs programs straight out of Vroid. But don't worry, I'm going to be showing you how to add those necessary blend shapes so that you can use that technology. Before we do start, let's go over what we'll need. I will say that this is not a completely free process. It's not expensive either. I want to say you won't spend more than $20, but I do want to make it very clear that you will have to spend some money on this process. However, this is a one-time fee and you can use these programs to add blend shapes to models that you make commercially. So some of the things that we're going to need are one, a model, <laughs> two, a tool that we're going to use in Unity called the HANA tool. You'll need an iPhone. I think that there are some other programs that will allow you to use other devices besides iPhones, but I think the specific one that I'm going to be discussing today only works with iPhones in the Apple Store. So for the purpose of this video and what I do know, I'm going to go ahead and say that you'll need an iPhone. You will also need a compatible version of Unity. I will definitely go ahead and share with you the version that I will be using later in this video. And you will also need a asset package, UniVRM. If you're not sure of what UniVRM or how to add it to Unity, I did make a video previously to this, so you can definitely go back and check that whenever you need to, just to refresh your memory or learn for the first time, and then come back here. And you will also need the program iFacial Mocap. That program and the HANA tool are not free. We will go over the pricing for them um, a little later, but again, I do wanna let you know that there is a cost to them. But now that we know what we will need to get started, let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, so the very first thing we're going to go ahead and download is the HANA tool. So if you notice, you'll see that this there's this big disclaimer that says this is old. We're still going to go ahead and buy this version because this version works um, with the standard uh, 0.0, .0 version of your model, and that is the version of model that's going to work in VC face. And I was having issues with the version five in Unity, so we're just going to go ahead and, for the sake of the tutorial and what I know works, we're gonna go ahead and download the version four. I've already bought it, but what you're going to go ahead and do is click this, add it to cart, go through the process, um, and go ahead and save it. Once you have it saved, it'll kind of look like this. You'll have the vo the folder. You're you're gonna extract its content and then it will take away the zip folder um, and you'll have it here. I recommend saving your packages in one si uh, one area so that you can find it easier later. The next thing you're going to go ahead and download is UniVRM. What you're gonna do is scroll all the way down to the bottom and you're gonna download this first package and save it to the same, the same place that we saved um, our package before. And the last thing you're going to need is a Unity download. Specifically, we will be using 2020.3.13F1. So you're gonna go ahead and find that by clicking on the year, scrolling down to the one that, that is compatible and go ahead and downloading it. You can download it to the Unity Hub and it'll bring up your Unity Hub downloaded in there. And once you have it downloaded and once it's all there, you will see your you will see it amongst your other versions in your Unity Hub. So before we go ahead and open Unity, what we are going to do is we're going to make sure that our model was saved with some parameters, some specific parameters. So once you have your model already and you're ready to export, we're going to go ahead and export as VRM. I'm going to be using our Chibi version of Lexi in order to go ahead and do this. Everything else we're going to pretty much keep the same, but for the instance of adding blend shapes, we're going to want to turn this off. So your model has a bunch of uh, a bunch of meshes attached attached to the face that you cannot see. That is what kind of controls the different points on the face. It is what controls our blend shapes. So we can't, if we delete it, we won't be able to modify it. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that off. And then we're gonna go ahead and export. 
Once you have that done, we're gonna go ahead and create a new project. We're going to make sure our version is compatible. Uh, we're using the compatible version that we need. We're gonna leave it in the 3D space. We're gonna name our project and we're gonna press create project. So once our project is open, we're gonna go ahead and import our packages. So we're gonna go to assets, import package, custom package, and we're going to go ahead and upload our uni VRM. It's gonna give you some options. You're going to press import and accept all and close. So then what we're going to do is we're going to add our HANA package the same way, import, and you should see both of those appear. And the last thing we're going to go ahead and import is our model. We're going to go ahead and use our uni VRM tool to go ahead and do that. So we're going to press um, VRM zero. We're going to import your file. You're going to find your model, create the prefab, save, and she should appear in our asset window down here in a few seconds. All right. So she is in there. So we are going to go ahead and click and drag her into our window viewport. And as you can see, she is there, she is in here. So what we're going to do now is add those blend shapes. We're gonna click on the HANA tool. We're going to go to Reader. This window is going to pop up and you'll see that we have a little window here. You're gonna select the model that you have. So if it was a female build or a male build, you'll pick what, what, what applies. Mine is female, so we're gonna leave it like that. And in this little window right here, we're going to drop down. So we drop down these levels and it gives us a little more options. We're going to take the face root. We're gonna take this um, section right here. We're gonna click and drag it and we're gonna take it right here. So now it says face skin mesh and we are going to say read blend shapes. And that's it, it says finish reading blend shapes and added them to the mesh. Now that we're done with that, we can go ahead and close this window. We're going to go back to the HANA tool and we're gonna go to clip builder which is basically going to take all the stuff that, um, the blend shapes that we're gonna add it and clip it to this build. So we have our V-Roid, you see this op this uh, window once again, and this time what we're going to do is we're going to take the entire model and we're going to place that right here. So the whole root goes in here and we're gonna press clip build. All right, once that's done, we'll press okay and you can go ahead and close this. If you go to this, if you go to the side panel right here underneath assets and you click on blend shapes, you'll notice that there are a bunch of blend shapes that have been added besides the standard few that comes with your um, model. Once you click on a specific blend shape, um, you'll see the inspector pop up here and you'll see a little preview window right here that gives you a, a little view of what it's going to look like when that blend shape is triggered in on your model. It's not gonna show here, but you'll be able to see it here. Let's say you wanted to edit the blend shape because right now I see that like her, her eyebrows kind of clip into her, fa her face when she's angry. So what we're going to go ahead and do for this angry um, blend shape is we're going to go ahead and do this little face drop down and we'll see that it gives us a bunch of different options that we can customize this face with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and as you can see, it has angry all the way turned up because that's the face that we have for this. So I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. And now my um, eyebrows are not clipping into the face and we can save it like that. You can do this for um, most of the prefabbed expressions. As far as like the ones that are, you'll see that you have some that are just for like look down, look left, look up. And it's pretty much the same. That's because your eyes are going to be, the pupils are going to be tracked by the program. You're not really gonna, you're not gonna see much difference once you play around in this. Um, but as far as like the actual expressions, like angry, surprise, sorrow, you can change these and edit how they look within these parameters. I suggest you get all those um, kind of situated inside of Vroid, but this is important to know because you can use this to add blend shapes to your model, like specific triggers. Once you are done finagling with your model and you've got all your blend shapes taken care of, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and export it like we normally would. And you're going to take the entire root, put it in export root. It's asking me to require a version, so I'm gonna put one. And we're gonna press export. It's gonna ask us where we want it to go. And we're gonna press save. All right, so now we are in VC phase and we're going to go ahead and make sure that it works. 
We're gonna go to avatar selection. I'm gonna find my um, model. And we're going to press select. Okay, so she's in here, she's working. As you can see, all my facing tracking is uh, set up and we have a lot more range and expression in the eyes and in the mouth and all the expressions. Two of the coolest blend shapes that I think are, are included are the tongue stick out. Mm. And the cheek puff. So she works. All right, babies, and that's it. I will be doing a separate video on how to set up eye facial mocap with VC face specifically. This I kind of like when information is set separated um, so it's not just like an overload of information. So that is kind of why I have these separate videos and it's like targeted to where if you want to just know that specific thing, you can go back and look for it. That is all we have for this video today. I hope that it was super helpful for you. If it was, please consider giving it a like and subscribing um, so that you will be notified whenever we upload something new. Make sure to check out my booth store for other textures, assets, and stuff pertaining to your Vroid models. And until next time, remember that you are loved, valued, and worthy, and I hope that you enjoy the rest of your time. Bye, babies!